everyone. Friday, April 28th is World Day for Health and Safety at Work. Are you part of the 50% of the population that works in an office? Did you know that the average office worker sits for about 10 hours a day? That's seven at work, about an hour and a half commuting, and two to four at home, whether you're watching TV, you're eating dinner, all those things. So that puts a lot of pressure on your body. Well, today we are lucky enough to have Jason Cook from Greater Toronto Ergonomics. 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 Yes. He is an ergonomist, and he is going to help us today with just some of the easy fixes that you can do at work to make your office environment a little more comfortable. Jason, thank you so much for coming today. We really appreciate it. Can you maybe explain to everyone at home what exactly er ergonomics is ergonomics, yes. and what an ergonomist does? Certainly. So an ergonomist, I like to say, is basically about safety. Not this type of safety where you're going wrong and you're tripping over something and mm -hmm. you go, oh, I tripped over that thing and I hurt myself. It's more the thing where it builds up over time and then you bend over to pick up the pen and oh, my back, or you are having trouble sleeping and your arms are bothering you. So mm -hmm. it's the things that build up over time. I see. Okay. So as opposed to an acute injury, more just things building up and, yeah. and just kind of wear and tear on your body? Yeah, the term is cumulative and okay. it's called a repetitive strain injury. Okay. As the, oh, and, and what are some of the common injuries and problems that you see in your line of work? I'd say the most common ones are the shoulders and the lower back. Okay, uh, so just, maybe hunching from typing, yeah. oh, I've done that. So what are some tips and guidelines that you can recommend for people to do at home or at the office just to make sure they're not kind of falling into that rut? Certainly. So ergonomics is kind of complicated, but there's some really simple things you can do. Okay. The, the things I like to focus in are the 90-60-20. 90, 60, 20. 90, 60, 20. Okay, so yes. what's the 90 portion? So the 90 portion is kind of your ideal ergonomic uh, position. So what you have is 90 degrees at your elbow with your elbow nice and close to your body. Okay. And that's kind of where you're going to be typing in all that type of thing, okay. ideally. Okay. 90 degrees at the hips and 90 degrees at the knees. Okay. And what that is is it's supporting the legs nicely so you're not getting too much pressure at the front of the back and your body is in a fairly upright position. Okay, so that's the 90. So 90 at the elbows, 90 at the hips, 90 at the knees. What is the 60 portion? So the 60 is every 60 minutes, take 60 steps or walk 60 feet. But basically you're gonna get up and move around. Now, when you're sitting in, the, in kind of those unnatural postures, there's a number of things that start happening. Your head starts coming forward, your, your upper Getting body starts kind of coming hunch. forward, and your legs start tightening up and loosening off in not so good ways. So okay. Some of the exercises you might do would be double chins, where you're kind of pulling your chin back. Like this? Just do 10 of those, okay. and that helps bring your neck back into a good alignment. And then what is the 20 portion of the 90-60-20? The 20 portion is if you want to keep your 20-20. Every 20 minutes, take 20 seconds and look at least 20 feet away, so out your window or or sump down the hall or for, something. For those of you who are lucky enough to have windows, otherwise it's just kind of like look past your neighbor. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that is wonderful advice. Thank you so much. Now, what do you think about backrests and back supports, and how can they maybe assist um, with that pesky office chair that we're always trying to adjust? Well, we were just talking about the 90-90-90, and that's an ideal position for about 10 minutes, and then you start fidgeting and that type of thing. Okay. The, the thing with the 90-90-90 is most people's muscles are tight, so when they sit, it starts pulling on the hips and mm -hmm. starts rounding the lower back. Just naturally, that's what happens. Okay. So a backrest mm -hmm. like that will help to keep the lower back in a good position. So when you stand, your back is in a good position. When you sit, everything gets pulled forward. Right. So the, a backrest will help keep that. And again, tilting uh, your chair back a little bit will help take some pressure off the legs and the lower back as well. Okay, well thank you so much for taking the time to come in today. We really appreciate it. For those of you out there who are looking to make a couple changes to have a more comfortable office environment, don't forget we have Dr. Ho's Perfect Backrest that can do that little bit of tweak to help you get that 90-90-90. And we hope that everyone out there has a great World Day for Health and Safety at work. If you're looking for that more ergonomic sit, whether it's in the office, at home, or in the car, please try out Dr. Ho's Perfect Backrest. We are giving you the promo code PBR10 to get a 10% discount off the perfect backrest at drhonow.com. Please like our Facebook page if you want to keep up with our vlog, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.